So here is our final problem. Um, and this was a problem from around 2000 something. And this is a division N. That's a little bit. Um, yeah, so I just took it over here because I thought it would be a good example to see the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So 100 students were asked their opinion of three ice cream flavors. We know that there is a total of 100 students. And there are three ice cream flavors, meaning that our Venn diagram should be three separate circles that are overlapping. And it doesn't give us lots of information. It just says that 75 said that they liked chocolate, uh, 65 said that they liked strawberry, and 85 said that they liked vanilla. What is the smallest number of flavors? I mean, students that could have said that they liked all three flavors. Well, the students that said they liked all three flavors would be in this shaded area right here. So this is strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Strawberry would be 65, chocolate would be 75, and vanilla would be 85. Well, first thing we do, let's add those numbers together and see if that makes sense. Well, if we add that together, we get 250. 200, 225. So 225 is greater than the total, 100. And you can't have 225 separate students because there is only one or two, meaning that they are, there are some overlaps. So let's first subtract one 100 from 225. So 225 subtract 100, and we get 125. That's still greater than 100. Now let's subtract one more, and we get 25. That is the smallest number of students that they could have said that they liked all three flavors because it was overlapped twice, meaning that it was counted three times. So the final answer would be 25 students.